Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. Today we're going to show you how to create a chart and then sort it by the annual average. So we'll create the chart first by pulling over the state to the rows, pulling the sales into the text area, and then we're going to bring order date to the columns. We're also going to bring segment because we want to be able to filter by segment. And for at least right now, we're going to select all of them. So we want to get the annual average. So come up to the analysis, totals, row grand totals. And we want to change this. Select, you see it says automatic here. Drop down. We want this to be the average. Expand that out just a little bit. And what we want to be able to do, we're also going to show the oops sorry we actually want to show this as a show the filter so we want to sort the state and here is the problem we want to be able to sort by the annual average this grand total column here it isn't a field that allows us to sort we don't want to sort on the total sales because that may be different between, you know, if you have a really high year or a really bad year, we want to sort on the average. In order to create this field to be able to sort on, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to create a field. I'm going to call this average annual sales. I'm going to type in here. This is going to be we're going to start off with a fixed expression, fixed, and we want it to be fixed on the year. And we also want it to be fixed on the state. I made that mistake, didn't include state before, and we want the sum of sales. And we actually want to put all of this in an average. Make this make this the average. So what this is saying is give me the average of the sum of sales fixed at the state and the year level. So that is what we want. So we have the average sales. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just duplicate this worksheet so it has all the same items and I'm going to replace sum of sales with Average of sales. Now to make this a little bit easier, I'm going to uh, gonna link and then I'm gonna just get rid of the order and then I'm gonna create a dashboard so we can kind of compare them easily. Horizontal, I'm gonna change this to you don't have to, you can flip back and forth, but this is sometimes easier just to for demonstration purposes. Because you want to be able to show, I want to demonstrate that you've got 920, 920, 120, all these different items. Now here's where you run into a little bit of problem. If you want to select, deselect by segment. All right, so you got South Carolina is 26. South Carolina is 502. This is still used going off of all the segments. So what we need to do, come back here. There's actually a couple ways of doing this. You can add, you know, segment. You can add segment. And that's actually probably the easiest for what, what you're trying to accomplish here. So now you can sort. We're going to sort by, we're actually going to do two things. Well, we're going to sort by the average annual sales. Now it's now a field that you can choose. 
will come here as well. So you still have the same average. If this was your old dashboard, you'd clean it up a little. And now you can start doing things like filtering. Uh, at the filter, you can start doing the top 10 by average annual sales. Because without that average annual sales field, you won't be able to it won't give you a, an option to filter on that. So you have the corporate. And now when you look at the data, it's not right. You've got 57 here, 28 here, 16, 33. So let's take a look and see what's happening. You open up the annual, average annual, so you can see what's happening. Remember, this is taking the average of this value, which is broken up by year, state, segment, the sales by those categories. So when you don't have this segment called out here, it is taking the average of all the segments. So it's figuring out the average annual value by state and by segment. And that's where it's getting mixed up, because that's not what the, the one on the left by year is doing. So we pull that out, we come back here, we're still gonna have problems. This is now looking at everything instead of just the filtered selections, segments. What we need to do is we need to move the segment above or have the segment happen before the fixed filter. And the way you do this is changing this to add to context. We're gonna add that to context it's going to change it to black. And because it's linked to all these fields, it's moved to context here as well. Moving an item to context means it will have that filter will happen before any of the other fixed filters, fixed functions. And so that's a way you can apply a filter to a fixed function. And now you'll see that the numbers are right 57, 57, 33, 9. We can add, and the numbers tie out. There you go. You now know how to use the fixed function to filter average, to filter on and sort by average annual sales.